like right away when when we said call 911 the mom was looking around and stuff like that like Trying where is her. my little girl you know it just happens with a blink of an eye for Rhett Wilson oh, I'll never forget this being back at Salem Pond brings back life-changing moments I've been replaying it <laughs> all day and all night and just seeing everything over and over this is where it happened I asked my family I'm like what is that out there the exact spot where what looked like a t-shirt turned out to be a five-year-old girl she was underneath the water about six inches and he quite literally jumped to the rescue I didn't think I just ran and jumped in and when I grabbed her there was like I said she was lifeless her head flopped back ten minutes of CPR felt like an eternity I couldn't find a pulse on her. Then an ambulance, life flight, and two hospitals later. When I got to the hospital and was getting my foot checked out, I saw the mom. And a miracle. She told me they just got a heartbeat. And now still in the hospital on life support, this five-year-old is fighting for her life. I think she can do it. I think we're going to, little girl's going to pull through. Her family says Rhett is a hero, but he, he's just thankful for years of CPR training and certification. I wouldn't say I was a hero, but I think I just a citizen that was in the right spot at the right time. Salem police say drownings aren't actually that common here at Salem Pond, but there are always things parents can do to ensure their kids are staying safe. First, keep an eye on them. Second, and most importantly, always make sure they're wearing a life jacket. At Salem Pond, L. Thomas, Fox 13 News, Utah.